Hey Dennis Hopper fans, right in front of us is the former home of Dennis Hopper, the great actor. It was also designed by the architect Frank Gehry in the 80s. And uh, I once read an article in the 80s that he lived here and, and I grabbed his address and I came over here to look at it. And uh, on these steps right here when he died, there was hundreds of fans that left flowers and candles votive candles, pictures uh, in memory of Dennis Hopper. And uh, he, uh, believe it or not, I'm the only fan that's probably ever brought this hypothesis up, but I can't prove it. I always wanted to meet Dennis Hopper. And I'm gonna say it right here. I think he picked building this house on Indiana Avenue because he was such a fan and he learned all his technique and all his knowledge of how to act from James, from James Dean. And James Dean was born and brought up in Indiana. And I think Dennis Hopper believed in symbolism or the power of the will, or maybe even Freemasonry thrown in there, or even magic, M-A-G-I-K. But apparently it worked because year in and year out, after, since 1954 and 55, he was famous and he got richer and more powerful and more 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 famous year in and year out and i think it's the reason why is because he built his house on indiana indiana avenue and i really believe in magic and i really believe all that energy really works if you if you uh tune your mind and your whole willpower into whatever your dreams and your wishes are and they usually come true from what i've heard that's why people are powerful and famous and rich okay Dennis Hopper fans, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And now I'm going to head out to Needles, California, to the opening scene where Wyatt and Billy throw away their watches and head out, head out to New Orleans. And I think that I mentioned that Dennis Hopper also passed away in this house. Okay, for what it's worth, thank you very much, and I hope you guys appreciate this.